man, CD Projekt Red still is in a lot of trouble, and it still is not looking good to this day with the game Cyberpunk 2077 being out on the market for over two months. Let's get this video started. Get some more. So, I've actually been doing a lot more streaming lately than making game news videos, but at the same time, I'm still going to be making game news videos like this video right here. It just won't be as much as I used to do a while back. But because now I got the PC specs that my capture card needs and I've been playing a lot more PlayStation 2 stuff with the HDMI converter, I have actually been doing a lot of older games and streaming them and whatnot instead of making like game news videos. But as I stated, I will continue to do game news videos like this one. It just won't be as much, but you will still see game news videos like this one on my channel for quite some time. It just ain't going to be as much now, but we are still going to be doing them. So, anyway, so on today's video, CD Projekt Red has just got cyber attacked. And it's not looking very, very good for the company right now. I understand that they released the game in a buggy, broken mess and whatnot, but I'm also going to give everybody a fair another warning about why the issue has happened with Cyberpunk. And it just, they, they, they're in a world of trouble and it just keeps coming on them and nothing seems to be getting better with them. They will get better. I have faith, and I know for a fact that they will. It's just going to take some time from right now. Cyberpunk 2077, as long as they keep continue to work on the game and improving it with updates, they will be back to normal. But it's just going to take quite a while before they get back to being a pro-consumer company. I Personally... I don't even think they're ever going to be a pro-consumer company no more. Like, they lost big time to the fans. But on the plus side, as long as they get everything to work, and they do, you know, they patch the stuff up, they get the game back, they'll bring some of their audience back. But it's definitely 100% not a guaranteed that all fans will go back to them. So... I'm just going to give my last bit of take again, and I know I've said it in like two to three other videos, but this is what the odds are with the game being released in a broken mess. Everybody thinks that it's because of the 8th gen consoles, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, and also everybody seems to think also it was the developer's fault when it's honestly got nothing to do with the developers at all. The developers are just there to do what they're told, go home, bring home a paycheck so they can keep shelter for them and their families and put food on the table for their families. That's all they're there for is to do what they're told and bring home a paycheck so they can support their family. That's all that it is. But it is the publisher's fault. It is most likely 90% out of 100 is what the issue is. It is the publisher's fault. The publishers wanted to release the game and they said, oh yeah, we'll patch it up in a future update, we'll fix it, but we need to release so we can meet our sales. And... With the game being broken, it hurt them a lot. 
And also, the other thing, it's got nothing to do with the 8th gen consoles, the PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One. I know that there is a lot of people who do not think clearly. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate on this video because of this, but I'm telling you, it has got nothing to do with the 8th gen consoles, the Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4 of the game being released for. The game has been in development since early 2013, way on before the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 even launched, the game was began development. So, all of this time, the game was 100% completely built from the ground up for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. And I mean, heck, the game was originally going to release only for those consoles before even the new consoles even came out on the market just a couple months ago. Cyberpunk 2077 was originally set to release in fall 2019 or early spring 2022. That's the date that the game was set to release in. So it was mainly for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So it is got nothing to do with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, and it's also got nothing to do with the developers. It is the publisher's fault. Even the CEOs that is above the publishers that wanted to release the game in a broken mess because all they care about is money. If the game would have, you know, got held back for an extra year, the game would have been better on the PS4 and Xbox One. It wouldn't have all of this loading assets and textures not loading in right. Like, it would have been a much, much better game if the publishers were not greedy and would have let the game be delayed either a few months to a year and there's even developers that are working on the game that work there that even said that they think that the game should have stayed um in development until 2022 not 2021 2022 so that is right there proof that it was not the developer's fault and when the game being originally scheduled to launch holiday 2019 and spring 2020 as the first delay that also tells you right there that it was made and it's proof that it was supposed to be for the playstation 4 in the xbox one so you can't say that the playstation 4 and the xbox one and the developers are the reason that the game is broken it has got nothing to do with the v developers and the 8th gen consoles. So, yeah. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys could, please smack the like button. And if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And also turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new video in the future. And also, comment down below in the comment section down below about CD Projekt Red with cyberpunk if you honestly think that it, it like a lot of people think it do you think it's because of the eighth gen consoles or do you think that the it was built for the eighth gen consoles and know that it was rushed so just comment down below of your thoughts at the end of the video and hit a like if you enjoy this video and subscribe for those of you that are new turn on notifications and we'll see you on the next video